Okay, so today, uh, let's dive into maps. Mm -hmm. You know those like colorful things you see in textbooks? Like yeah. supposed to make geography exciting and everything? Right. But honestly, they always seem kind of well flat. Yeah. What if there was like a way to take those maps and make them like, yeah. like come to life, you know? Well, that's where geo inquiries come in. Ooh. They're like the jump from like a flip book to like a movie, you know? Okay. Taking something static and then making it dynamic and interactive and engaging. It's making me think back to like middle school geography classes, just memorizing capitals and like where mountain ranges are. And oh. geo inquiries just sound way cooler. Yeah. So break it down for us. Like what actually are geo inquiries? So imagine this. You're learning about volcanoes. Okay. But instead of just seeing a picture in a textbook, you're looking at an interactive map online. Mm -hmm. And it's not just any map. It's using ArcGIS online. Okay. It's kind of like Google Maps, but mm -hmm. you know, specifically for exploring Earth science concepts. Okay. You can zoom in on like real-time volcanic activity around the world. Wow. Trace tectonic plates and even see how they connect. That's so cool. Yeah, it's like holding the Earth's geology in your hand. Okay, that's already way more exciting than a textbook. Yeah. But this is designed specifically for the classroom, right? Absolutely, especially for middle school Earth science. Okay. Each geo-inquiry is like a bite-sized lesson about 15 minutes long. Okay. And they're designed by teachers to match up with like the next generation science standards. Right. Or NGSS. NGSS, yeah. It's all about making these complex topics instantly engaging and accessible and relevant to what the students are learning. So it's not even just about making the maps more fun. Right. Which that's a bonus for sure, but there's a bigger impact here. Exactly. Yeah. It's about giving students and all of us, really, a better way to develop what's called spatial reasoning. Okay. So think of it like this. Okay. Have you ever wondered how, like, city planners decide where to put a park? Mm. Or how experts can track the spread of diseases? Yeah. It all comes down to understanding what's called the why of where. Okay. And that's what geo-inquiry helps you do. Okay, so we're talking volcanoes and plate tectonics and understanding patterns. Mm -hmm. What are some other, like, earth science topics that these geo inquiries cover? Oh, they cover a ton. Okay. Like everything from using satellite images to understand like changes on Earth. Uh-huh. That's called remote sensing. Okay. To like exploring different types of rocks and minerals. Okay. Even stuff about weather patterns and climate change. Wow. So it sounds like they took every like cool part of Earth science right. and turned it into this interactive experience. Like, yeah. No more dozing off in the back of the class. Yeah. No more sleeping through those lessons. So they're created by actual teachers and curriculum designers. So yeah. they're like really easy to use in a lesson plan. Very exactly. really easy. You don't need to do any like crazy software installations or like mm -hmm. expensive field trips or anything. And speaking of not being expensive, they're yeah. totally free to use. Oh. Yeah, that's right. I forgot about that. They're free. Completely free. Amazing. It's part of ESRI's commitment to making educational resources available. Right. Through the White House Connected Initiative. Okay. Plus, they're licensed under something called Creative Commons, mm -hmm. which means the teachers can like adapt them and share them however they want. That's fantastic. Breaking mm -hmm. down barriers to learning. Exactly. Um. So, how user friendly are these? Yeah. Like. Do you need a special login or any software or anything to make them work? You don't need anything fancy at all. Okay. So they run on ArcGIS Online, right? which we talked about earlier. Yeah. There's no special logins or software installations required or anything. Okay. Teachers can just project it, like, right from the website. Oh, wow. And students can just follow along at their desks. That's really cool. Yeah. Very convenient. No technical hurdles or anything. Yeah. Okay, so let's say I'm, like, a teacher, and I want to use that geo-inquiry on volcanoes. Mm -hmm. What would that actually look like in action? Okay. Paint a picture for me. Okay. So you're a middle school earth science teacher. Mm -hmm. And you're about to start this lesson on volcanoes. Okay. Right. Okay. You dim the lights a little bit to set the mood. Okay. You pull up the geo inquiry on the projector. Mm -hmm. And suddenly, boom, there's this like vibrant map of the world. Okay. That fills the screen. Okay. But here's the thing. This isn't just like a plain old map. Okay. This map is interactive. Okay, now you're speaking my language. Okay. Tell me more about this interactive map. Okay, so this map, mm. it pinpoints the locations of volcanoes all across the globe. Mm. But it gets even cooler. Okay. It also shows tectonic plate boundaries. Oh, okay. So students can zoom in on different regions of the world, mm -hmm. like the Ring of Fire. Right. 
and they can see firsthand how the location of these volcanoes actually relates to like these dynamic plate movements. Uh, like it's all connected. That's what's so cool about it because yeah. it's like plate tectonics. It's kind of like this abstract concept. Right. This makes it something that's visual, something you can actually like grasp and explore. And it's not even just about like the visuals. Okay. The geo inquiry also includes these like thought provoking questions mm -hmm. that encourage the students to like analyze the data that's on the map. Okay. And like make connections and draw their own conclusions. So it's interactive on multiple levels. Yeah. It's not just like passive. Yeah, like passive learning at all. Exactly. They're actively engaging with the material. Yeah. They're taking ownership of it. So th this might seem like a little bit of a tangent. We've yeah. talked a lot about like the benefits of geo inquiries. Yeah. But are there any limitations that we should be aware of? That's a great question. Yeah. So while they're incredibly valuable, mm -hmm. it's important to remember that they're designed to be like short, Ugh. focused activities. Yeah. So think of them like powerful spices that enhance a meal. Right. Not the entire dish itself. Okay. Right. They're meant to like supplement and enrich mm -hmm. the traditional teaching methods not replace them entirely. That makes sense. Yeah. They're like the perfect complement exactly. to a well-rounded lesson plan. That's a great way to put it. Engaging, insightful, and thought-provoking. Without overshadowing the main course. Exactly. Right. They're a fantastic tool just to like really make those maps jump off the page. The turn tunnel. those abstract ideas into something concrete that they can explore. Yeah. And really nurture that spatial thinking. Absolutely. Speaking of spatial thinking, we've kind of touched upon this a little bit throughout this whole thing, mm -hmm. but I want to circle back okay. and just really emphasize why that's so important. Okay. And not just for students, but for like everybody, it's easy to think about like maps and spatial thinking as just like right. geography class stuff. Yeah. But it's so much bigger than that. It really is. Right. Yeah. So like, give me some like real world examples. Right. Like how does this actually pl play out like beyond the classroom? So let's say you're driving to a new restaurant. Okay. You're using spatial reasoning to like navigate traffic. Right. Find the quickest route, maybe even snag that perfect parking spot. Right. It's about visualizing how things are laid out. Right. And then like making decisions based on that understanding. Okay. On a much larger scale. Yeah. You know, you think about how doctors track the spread of a virus mm -hmm. or how urban planners decide where to build new like housing developments. Right. It all comes back to that understanding patterns and relationships. Yeah. And the why of where. The why of where. I like that. It's yeah. like that old saying. What's that? Everything is connected. Yeah. You know, add in like that geography element to it. Yeah, exactly. Spatial thinking helps us make sense of those connections, especially in a world that's facing all these like crazy challenges like climate change. Right. Resource management, urbanization. It's more important than ever. Yeah. Being able to look at that data and understand the geographical context and then make an informed decision. Absolutely. And that's what I love about geo increase. Yeah. Because it's not just teaching about like volcanoes or earthquakes like in isolation. Right. It's giving students like this framework yeah. to understand like how everything's interconnected. That's the beauty of it. Yeah, and preparing them to actually like tackle these real life issues. And the best part is, yeah, these tools are like readily available right. to everyone. Exactly. So whether you're a student just like diving into earth science, mm -hmm. a teacher wanting to breathe some life into the lessons, mm -hmm. or just someone who wants to sharpen their spatial thinking skills. Right. Geo inquiries are a really fun and engaging way to do that. This has been awesome. Yeah. I've learned so much. I'm walking away with like this whole new appreciation for maps and data. That's great to hear. And just like how powerful spatial thinking really is. It really is. So for our listener who has been with us on this journey, mm -hmm. what's the one thing you want them to remember from all of this? I think the biggest takeaway is we live in this like super complex, yeah. interconnected world. Right. And understanding it yeah. begins with spatial thinking. Love it. So yeah. Whether you're exploring earth science for the first time or just want to make sense of the world around you, mm -hmm. geo inquiries provide this like really powerful lens. It's true. And who knows? Yeah. Maybe this will spark a curiosity right. to just explore the world of maps and data exactly. in a whole new way. That's what we're hoping for. Awesome. Well, I am ready to go hit those interactive maps. Yeah. This has been awesome. Thanks for joining me. Happy to be here. Until next time.